This is Robert with Northwest Oregon Fishing Channel. And today I'm gonna to show you how I put a herring or an anchovy on hole with a toothpick. First thing is that we have some herring here that's been soaking. Normally I wouldn't use this large of a herring. I'd normally go down a little bit. Now I just take that with 16 ounces of bottled water and uh, about a quarter cup of Northwest bait scent. Of course, you could use Procure or whatever you want. Uh, that's just one of my favorites here. And now what I have here is a sandwich toothpick. And you can see this herring is rather large, but again, it'll work just fine for what we're doing today. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in right in between the two lips in the chin. So it's in there, and then I'm gonna bend the fish like that, and I'm gonna run it right along the backbone. Once I get it halfway in, then I'm gonna bend the fish up and push it all the rest of the way in. Now with a small one, usually what'll happen is the toothpick will come out right about here, and you can feel the toothpick in there, but it just, because how large the herring is, that's where it's gonna stop. More bend, the more spin. This is a three hook rig. Now it's a mooching rig, and if you wanna see how to tie that, you can just look back at one of my other videos there. I'll try to put a card up for you. And this front hook goes in here, right next to where the toothpick went in, kind of just in front of the eyes on this big one, or just in between the eyes in a smaller one. You get it in there, so it's straight like that, and then push it down all the way so you get a little bit of slack. Now, I'm gonna line that second hook up with the middle of the body, and I'll put a picture up here so you can see where that is. And then I'll take this back hook and push it through the body right behind where that other hook was. And then pull it straight through. Now, what we have is this hook is in the front, pointing straight. This hook is just leaning up against the side. It's not connected to anything. And then this hook is dragging. And when the fish is running, this hook will be directly behind it like that. I took a couple of different pictures so that way you can see different angles, one from each side. And you can see how the back hook just goes right through the body. There's no reason to pin it or anything. It will just float along side of the fish. And when a salmon comes along and hits it, it'll get hooked. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out. I'll take this out to the side of the boat, put it out here so that way the pole is as far out as possible ahead of the boat, set the fish in the water. The flasher is still not in the water yet. Then I drop it all and it's in a straight line. Now for this demonstration, I went ahead and moved the pole holder facing forward so we could get a good look at this. I'll set the pole in there and lock it in place, reel it up to the surface. And now you can take a really good look at that fish and you can see that it's flipping. It's not flipping really fast. If you want it to flip faster, you just put more of a bend in it before you push the toothpick through. The more of the curved banana, the faster the flip will be. So I'll just go ahead and let it out just like I normally would. Nice and slow, usually I do pulls, and then down to about 20 feet of line, and then we'll be fishing. Well, thanks for watching, and check out my channel for some other instructionals, and hopefully we'll get some fish catching videos up there in the next couple of weeks.